the mystery about Harold was always something that all of us in the family were sort of aware of. Everyone talks about it and everyone has their theory. If you wanted to hide a body, 1934 was a good year to do it. He just disappeared. Are we in the right place? Oh, yeah. Everything's wood. Is that supposed to be like that? Yeah. My name is Mike Milden, and Harold Heaven was my great great uncle. I'm Jackson. He's going to help me solve the mysteries of my best friend. We're just massive fans of true crime. We have a great mystery. We're amateur detectives. I can't say whether you're good detectives or not. You're cute. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> My family over the years has created theories. He was killed. A suicide. He left very suddenly, and his gun was gone. Small towns love talking. It's these stories that keep us questioning everything we know about Harold's case. Our job now is to take the family legend, the rumors, the campfire story, and find the truth in it. There's no theory we're not going to look into. That's the only way we're going to solve this thing. Like, this is really <laughs> professional, this stuff. They are kind when they undress me. <laughs> <laughs> they have to put microphones on in my body. Harold's body doesn't go missing for 87 years without some help. We know foul play was involved. We can solve this thing. This area here is corrupt. Has been for years, it still is. It doesn't point to a suicide. Harold realized that he had been ripped off. It was maybe some of the boys that were building the highway. Rumor is that there's body underneath. And if the guy was going to be dumped in here, that's where you dump him. Whoa. Oh, my god! Whoa. How would you feel if we actually solved this? Well, I think it'd be super. As long as you don't come back and tell me he's one of my relatives. 